Hey there, welcome to Mac the Tech. I am Muhammad, and I'm passionate about business analytics. I've spent years mastering various analytics tools, but the one that always stood out to me is Power BI. Power BI is an incredibly powerful tool that can help you transform your data into valuable insights. With it, you can visualize your data in a way that makes sense and uncover hidden patterns and trends that can help you make informed decisions. On this channel, we'll be diving deep into Power BI. I'll be sharing tips and tricks, walking you through how to use different features and showcasing real world examples of how you can use Power BI and drive business success. I'm excited to share my knowledge with you and help you take your analytics skills to the next level. So if you are ready to unlock the full potential of Power BI, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join me on this journey. Hello again. As I said in previous videos, my intention is to make the use of the iPad to be a good device for data analysts, especially on the go. And now a new update from Power BI came to the services, which is low code paginated reports. What can you do with low-code paginated reports? Let me show you on the iPad how can you utilize the low-code paginated report, which is just released for the Power BI services. On the Power BI services on the iPad, we go to the workspace, and from the workspace, we select, for example, one of the data sets. And in the data sets, you go to the three dots and then create paginated report. The benefits of the paginated reports are plenty. When you have a dashboard on the Power BI, you can only see what's on the screen. But let's say you have a multiple documents that you want to print or use on PDF and extract all these pages and say they are 100 pages. And that's the power of the paginated reports. For example, if we go to the sample data here and we select, for example, the data product family and we add it to the filter. And then from the product family, you go to the product. And then you add the color. You can see you can do a lot of things here on this data. And directly, you can see down that there is a total if you want or something. And here you can see it in the table, include totals. But because I didn't put any quantity right now, so I'm going to add the quantity right now. And now you can see that it includes totals and you can see the totals. So say I want to add also the total sales. And let's make it a little bit smaller. And as you can see, I'm doing this all on the iPad without any Mac or any PC interference. So what else do I need for this? Now, as you can see, I want the date uh, not to be at the last uh, end of this. So I'm going to make the date at the beginning. To do so, all you have to do, go to the build. And in the build, you go here. And you can do a lot of stuff. Here you can change the formula of the sum of the total or the sum of the quantities. You can play with so many different things. Say this is the paginated report. You can also bring it down by using this, and then you can use the insert. You can add an image. And here, if you know the image URL, you can put it, especially if you have a website, like the logo website, it has a URL. You can paste it in here and have it. And you can add a text box. And in the text box, you can write whatever you say. Say, for example, here, I want to say this is the delivery notes uh, for delivery notes for the orders over the years. Over the years. OK. And of course, you can utilize this. Make it bold. Increase the font. Make it 26, for example. And let me return back the table on the top. What does this benefit us when we look at it? 
Well, the main benefit is that you can actually print these and although you can't see all the data sets, but once you print it, you will see everything. I'll show it to you in a minute. But first, let me also tackle the filters. Here you can see also the filters and in the filters, you can go and select, for example, if you want to see only family one, then the whole thing will be filtered to family one and it's one page. If you see, if you want to see family three and family four together, then it is also filtered to family three and family four only. And as you can see, there is no low code here. You don't have to use the paginated uh, report builder and then set parameters to link them to the dashboard. All I did is here. And now if I go to print, I can decide this is like the regular a4 page and I want to make it in a portrait mode and I would say print print is in progress here it is and show I have this report now and as you can see these are the two pages downloaded and printed and this is something you can't have in Power BI dashboard unless you have some customization or paginated report builder that you've done that's it for today. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you find that this is useful for you to print from a huge data set that you have. You can do filters on the paginated report and then you can print a PDF report and send it or share it with someone if you don't want to share the Power BI itself. That's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to give it a thumb up and hit that subscribe button for more Power BI content. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I love hearing from you and I'm always here to help. And don't forget to check out my other videos for more tips and tricks on using Power BI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.